WBAL TV 11. This is breaking news. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sarah Caldwell. Late breaking details out of Anne Arundel County today, where one person has been shot dead at the gates of Fort Meade. Sources tell NBC News an altercation began after two men dressed as women attempted to gain access to the base. We have several crews both on the ground and above the scene right now. Let's begin with 11 News reporter Lowell Melser with the latest. Lowell. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Sarah. A bizarre uh, morning here uh, at Fort Meade, just outside of uh, in Anne Arundel County. Well, here's what we know so far. Uh, senior U.S. officials are confirming for NBC News that earlier this morning, as you had mentioned, two men dressed as women tried to ram their way through a security gate in a stolen Ford Escape registered in Maryland. Now, one of the suspects was apparently shot by a security guard and died, and at least one weapon and drugs were discovered inside that vehicle. Now, the official said that there was no early indication that this was a terrorist event, that the NSA or Fort Meade were being targeted, and it's not clear why the two apparently attempted to enter the facility. Uh, we also understand that a paramedic uh, was injured uh, during the gunfire. We have a photo of that as well. Now, this same source told NBC News that as of now, this morning's incident uh, outside of the NSA appears to be a local criminal matter. However, FBI officials have confirmed that they are assisting with the investigation using their evidence response team and agents are conducting interviews. The FBI also confirms that it does not believe that the incident is related to terrorism. We are seeking to learn more information about this event. It's still, still unclear when a possible news conference may occur. As you can see, microphones are set up behind me here. We're waiting for any moment. As soon as that information comes along, if it's during this newscast, we'll bring it to you. Otherwise, you can catch that information at WBAL TV. Com. That's the very latest here on the ground. Now let's go up above with Captain Roy Taylor, who can show us a little more of the scene and uh, what it looks like at this hour. Lo, I can tell you, as you were saying, there's a large contingency of criminal investigators here. We've noticed that the FBI was here. And as we pan from uh, the scene where the crime lab is up to where the incident actually took place, you can see. The vehicles there, there's significant damage, a lot of damage done to both the NSA vehicle and uh, the vehicle that was involved here. The body still remains at the scene here. The other person, from what I understand, was transported to shock trauma. Now, we're still trying to get more information on this, but like we said, we've seen NSA, we've seen FBI, and the area is still cordoned off, and they're just taking their time to do a forensic investigation. As we get more information, we'll update you reporting live in Sky Team 11. I'm Captain Roy Taylor. Thank you, Captain Roy. And we have multiple teams on the scene at Fort Meade. We'll continue to keep you up to date on the very latest, both on the air tonight at 5 and 6. And of course, online at WBALTV.com and on our mobile app.